Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is Activated Faith. Beloved family, our text says, What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to them, Depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? Thus, also faith for itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, You have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. John 2, 14-18 Whatever we believe in our hearts will come out of our mouth. The Bible says, Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Matthew 12, 34 And whatever we say or confess out of our mouth qualifies us to be tested by God and tempted by sin. It is by our faith our confession is made, and by our faith our works are tested. This is a very interesting verse in James that we are studying today. I want to bring in another verse which will shed light on this one. There is an event that takes place where Jesus feeds 5,000 folks. There was a young boy who was the only one out of the 5,000 people that planned that day. He took his lunch to the assembly, and because he had something to offer, God was able to use him, and he became a blessing to so many. But you ask, what do I have to offer God? That's simple, your life. When you surrender and offer your life to Christ, he can use us to be a blessing to so many, just as the young boy was. After Christ blessed and fed them, they came looking for him. And when they found him, the question they had for him was very interesting. Jesus just did a miraculous work, multiplying the fish and the bread. It was no doubt a work of God. So they said to him, what shall we do that we may work the works of God? (laughs) Like probably multiplying this fish and bread. But Jesus answered and said to them, this is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he sent. John 6, 28 to 29. What they were really asking Christ was, how can we multiply fish and bread? What do we need to do to have the power to do that kind of works? Jesus said, just believe and have faith in me. See, our Lord knows that they, like us, are interested in the works of God from his hand instead of believing or having faith in the works of God from his heart. If we have faith to believe that God created the fish and the bread and knows what they are made of, hence he can speak to the substance and multiply it. If we don't have faith first, then we can't have works. But if we have faith and believe Christ, then activated faith reveals his works. Do you remember when King Jesus gave Peter work to do? When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you truly love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. John 21, 15. See, faith in God is what causes us to do the work And God sees your faith and your work and blesses the work. Okay, I'm still in the text. The disciples didn't believe that Jesus could multiply the fish because they didn't see the work. But Christ is about to increase their faith by his works. Stay with me. The boy had the works. He brought his own lunch and had something to eat. He brought his own lunch and had something to give. King Jesus has the faith and the works. He says, bring what the boy has. He blesses the offering and gives thanks to the father for the work and multiplies it for over 5,000 people. Our Lord always has the faith to believe that the father can do the works. This is why he could say, oh, you of little faith, when the disciples didn't believe. Look how Jesus viewed faith and works. 
If I do not do the works of my father, do not believe in me. But if I do, though you do not believe me, believe the works, that you may know and believe that the father is in me and in him. John 10, 37, 38. We preach faith, but not works. When Jesus told the centurion, I have never seen such great faith, it was because of the works of Cornelius. He said, I have men under my authority, and I tell go and he goes, and I tell another come and he comes. In other words, I command them works and they do it. And later when Cornelius was praying, the angel said, your prayers and your arms have reached God. As a memorial, God recognized his faith and confirmed it by his works. Faith activates your works, but your works validate your faith. They go together and cannot be separated. The Holy Spirit said, Now separate to me Barnabas and Saul for the work which I must call them. Acts 13 2. I know that we are going through some very tough times in the world today. People are shut in and many have lost their lives from this pandemic. The world may be at a standstill, but the works of God are still working. The sun rose this morning, and I saw the stars and the moon shining last night. Trees are still producing fruit, and the ocean waves are still behind their boundaries. My point is that in spite of any crisis we face, God is still at work. He is still in control. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. We do what we do because of who he is. The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. We are to believe, but not only believe. Our work should be tied to what we believe. King Jesus also said, you believe that there is one God. You do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. In other words, the demons believe in me and have faith in me, but they don't do my works. The devil and his companions work against my works. Ah, that's another seed for another day's work. Finally, Jesus said, many will call on my name and I will say to them, depart from me. I never knew you. You didn't visit me in prison. You didn't feed nor clothe me. You workers of iniquity. You showed me no works. Heavenly Father, please help us to do your works based on our faith so that we can show men activated faith by our works. Much love.